Hi, welcome to the .NET Core series. In this video, I will show you how to add uh, custom fields to our identity models. So, as you can see that the here is the ASP .NET user class and uh, user table, and this table does does not have the first name, last name, and the profile picture. So, I have to add these three fields in this table. So, for this, I have to modify the uh, identity class. Uh, identity use user model so uh, just to go to implement and uh, before the implementation i have to uh, show you the some basics so to add custom fields and we need to create a new entity class uh, this will be extended it uh, from the identity user class so we will then add the custom field to that class so uh, which means that uh, i have to create the new class and this class will be inherited or extended from the identity user class so create new user profile class under the uh, model folder as you can see that i have created the user profile class under the model class uh, these uh, this uh, class contains these three fields first name last name and the profile picture so i have added these three fields uh, in the in the user profile class so next is to configure application to use new user model so we want our application to use the newly created user profile in class inside of the identity user class so for this uh, uh, mean i have to update uh, user profile class with the identity user class so first i have to modify the empty uh, 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 db context class and uh, i have to change the uh, just go to there and add just copy the user profile class and paste it uh, here so you can see that the i have had uh, modified the uh, db context class and next thing is to update the app add default entry in the program class to use the user profile instead of identity user so just copy this class name and move to the program CS class and replace identity user with the user profile so as you can see, see that we have uh, created the user profile class and uh, uh, created three, three fields uh, first name last name and uh, profile picture in this class and this class uh, is inherited from the identity user class and after that uh, we replace the identity user class with the user profile in, in all our application so next and the final thing is to uh, add migration and update the database so just uh, go there and for this uh, move to the package manager console so add command migration extend ASP net user identity model so just hit and you can see that the uh, migration is created successfully and this migration has these three fields first name last name and the profile picture these uh, columns are going to add in the asp.net user class you can see this is the table so as you can see the table are not added in this table uh, field columns are not added in this table so i have to run the command update database uh, you can see that this command is created successfully and uh, now i have to again run execute this and you can see that the first name last name and profile picture fields are added successfully in the asp.net user class so uh, thank you for watching the video uh, you see how to in this video you see how to create a, a new class and add custom fields and, and after adding custom fields how to app update the uh, our database so thank you for watching the video if you have any question you uh, you can put your question in the comment box thank you